Hello, hi, hi, hello. So, Chris Brown out here throwing phones. For pictures, feel like paparazzi in the room. That one on them palm trees might make the shade room. Beautiful masterpiece, my interest really upset. Your body, my prescription, I ain't been taking my medicine. I need to up my dose. I can't keep my girl dose. So, this video came across my desk via Christian, and she wanted me to respond to it. And I was like, bet I react to that hoe. Baby, when I tell you, I was laughing. <laughs> I died twice. <laughs> and excuse my old raggedy chair that needs some WD-40 on it. But hello, we are in the new apartment. Yes. So let me tell y'all real quick. It was some niggatry going on outside not too long ago. Like some dudes was outside play fighting and shit. And being niggas, that's what niggas do. And my upstairs neighbor is um of the clear community and she was walking to the car you know what <laughs> i can't even be mad i'm all out the window talking about finally <laughs> we out the ghetto but it's gonna always be some ghetto shit wherever you go do you understand what i'm saying so just had to put that out there but um if y'all do hear noise it's because upstairs they are loud as the fuck <laughs> like a Bigfoot got to be living there. But um <laughs> what's going on with Chris Brown? <laughs> I'm trying to get through the video without laughing. Baby, he chunked the hell out of that phone. Now I'm gonna play the clip. I'm gonna play the clip for y'all and then we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> because it, what the hell? Like how you Before we get into that, let's get into this. Hello, hi, hi, hello. Um, a word from our sponsor. Me, I'm the sponsor. So guess who got a podcast? Mm, guess who got a podcast? Me and do. You understand what I'm telling you? Motivation with me podcast is now live. Okay, episode one has been recorded. So make sure you click the link in the description and listen to that. You need that motivation in your life. You need that. It's called It's Okay to Fail. So we're talking about failure and getting back up from failure. If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. Hmm? That's a word. Yes, God. But again, Motivation With Me podcast. Make sure y'all tune into that. So not only is this a YouTuber, but I'm a podcaster too. I do it all. Welcome to Elements of Me, where there's different elements of me. Okay, so we're going to play the clip of uh, Chris Brown on stage getting down with it. Damn. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but baby, it's loud. <laughs> but it's funny. Like, <laughs> they got a dog named Shadow, and Shadow be upstairs getting it in. Okay, Shadow got to be this big. <laughs> Why you sound like Bigfoot? You know what? Anyway, let's let's get into the video. Oh, see, that's the violation right there. I don't want to be a Karen here, but why would you have your phone out? Like, people ain't gonna record it and upload it on TikTok. Just embrace that crap because there's plenty of us that love to be up there. She's on the phone again. Nah, he's gonna get annoyed. She's actually irritating my life right now, I'm telling you. I'm gonna dash your phone. I'm really gonna dash your phone. Woo! Listen, 
listen. <laughs> Baby, he chunked that phone. Because why is you playing with Chris? Why, why are you playing with Chris? Baby, let me tell you, had that been me, I'd have chunked my own damn phone. You are on stage with Chris Brown, Kim Kardashian's cousin. Not Chris. I'm talking about the bitch that's up there. Don't she look like Kim Kardashian? She not giving Kardashian vibes. It's giving Kardashian. Bob cut and all. Like, it's... Girl. <laughs> Kaylee. <laughs> if you don't get your ass on the subway... See, that's the problem. These people, these phones. These phones don't get y'all in trouble. Because Chris wouldn't play that shit. Okay, Chris wasn't having it. He said, you got to be fucked up. I'm sitting here. I'm trying to grind on you, and you're going to pull out this phone. Now, I done tried to put it down nice, but you disrespecting me is what you're doing. Now, I'm pretty sure she was trying to get it on her story on social media or something. I'm not really sure. I, it, it was given like I'm trying to post when she was doing like this. But then at one point when he was on her, she was like holding the phone like, girl, if you don't put that motherfucking phone down. They recording you. It, it's going to be on the internet. I promise you it's going to be on every platform you could possibly think of. Matter of fact, where your homegirl? You didn't come there by yourself. Where your homegirls at? Because I know your homegirls got that shit on video. I, Baby Christian got that shit. I ain't going up there with no purse. I ain't going up there with no phone, no wallet, no keys. I'm going up. You're lucky if I don't go up there naked. Hmm? Huh? My head itch like a motherfucker. You lucky if I don't go up there naked. They done had to take me down. Because I'd be about to start taking off clothes. His clothes, my clothes. Everybody, the dancers' clothes. Look, listen here. You Don't don't put my explicit ass up there. Because you're going to take me down for show on this stage playing with me. Fuck that phone. <laughs> okay. I don't even like my phone. I don't know what my phone is half the time. Like, I legitimately lose my phone every five minutes. I have to ding it with my watch because I can't ever find my phone. For some reason, I'm glued to my Android, but this iPhone, my personal phone, I can never find it. Please, God, take my phone. Throw it. Throw the phone. Because that means I ain't got to answer no calls. Because <laughs> that, cause that means we, we, we off, okay? We ain't got to answer no calls. They gonna call the voicemail, gonna say, please leave a message. I was being stupid as hell and Chris Brown threw my phone into the audience. So I'm unavailable right now. But if you leave a message when I get done with the insurance company and I get a new phone, I'm gonna call you back. Leave a message after the beat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying. I had bullshit. I called it. It's not happening. Like, girl, girl, <laughs> Kaylee, can you please? Let's not do this. You on the stage with Chris Brown. Now, I don't do the pink. I'm not really feeling the pink hair. I, it's not giving what I needed to get. I prefer old Chris. I like old Chris. O old Chris touched me. Okay, that's why he was singing that old song. And it was like, you know, I was really, I just, I had to start, you know, now, my, my body don't move like it used to, but I, I would have found it on that stage. Baby, they would have had to take me down. They like, uh, we're going to have to take her down for show. Because <laughs> she cutting the fuck up. Ain't no way. Phone where? Phone for who? That nigga say, shh. <laughs> Like, fuck that phone. Like, I done already put it in your lap real nice. Like, I done sat it down real nice. Like, and here you go with this bullshit and you gonna pick it back up? You gonna pick it back up? What? What is you doing? I am grinding on you right now. Pay attention. What is you? Pay attention in class. What is happening? I'm sick of it. I, you know what? I, Baby, you could take me down any day. Looking like this and all. I look a hot ass mess, but I guarantee you I'd have got with his ass. We would have... It's going to be some baby making on that goddamn stage. Let me tell you. Listen here. And I'm celibate. I didn't... I don't know. 
And then apparently somebody, I think I saw a clip where somebody found her phone after the fact and gave it back to her. Maybe you had me fucked up. I'd have called the insurance company so fast and got me a new one. Ain't no way in hell that phone survived. Not the way he chunked that motherfucker. And then people was like mad at him like, if he chunked my phone, we gonna have a problem. Girl, that's Chris motherfucking Brown. You know damn well. I'd have just had him buy me a new one. Hey, bro, can you, uh, after I get done taking him down, I'm just gonna have him buy me a new one. I sit like a nigga. That don't make no damn sense. I'm just, like, it's, you good, bro. I, I know you got insurance on that motherfucker. They don't, what happened? It fell. <laughs> In a crowd. <laughs> you ain't see the footage? <laughs> they, she gonna call, they gonna be like, oh, you the one. Yeah, we saw Chris throw your phone. We just gonna go ahead and send you another one. <laughs> and then they was like, well, what if the phone would've hit somebody? Like the phone could've hit somebody. Nigga, I just, you just had to been hit that day. I'm sorry, I can't agree with the fact that it's his fault. I don't think it's his fault. Because he tried to be nice about it, and then it's like, you being rude because you got your phone out. Like, y'all know at most comedy shows and even some concerts, you're not even allowed to have your phone. You're not even allowed to have your phone. Is that nigga true going on outside? Who told you? I feel like Karen to call the law. Babe, I live in an area, listen, you can't be outside with the nigga tree. <laughs> it's too many Karens around. <laughs> you, you can't do that. You can't do that. We in a whole nother different place now. We, we, in a, we in a different atmosphere. Do you understand? I am in y'all's room. Hello. <laughs> hi. Hi. Hello. How y'all doing? I can't wait till I get that damn food to in there. And y'all know, yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. See, my nails ain't as long as I need them to be. I was going with shades of brown. <laughs> brown skin. You know I love you. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Because Shadow up there cutting up. But I just had to come to y'all with that. Kristen wanted me to do the reaction, so I was like, ah, fuck it. But I had to laugh. That shit was funny to the motherfucker. I laughed. I watched that video so many times, and I just died laughing. Like, just get my coffin, because I'm dead. <laughs> anyway, until the next video, I will see y'all. Bye. Girl, you gave me your